All right, let's tell each other a secret about ourselves. I'm gonna go first. I hate you. So before, uh, you had discussed the geometric interpretation of the derivative of a function at x equals c, you know, and f prime of c is interpreted as the slope of your tangent line to the curve y equals f of x at the point c f of c. You know. And you learned from the lecture na ito ay merong analogous geometric interpretation in terms naman sa ating partial derivatives. Kalimbawa, yung e yung f sub x of a, b, it's interpreted as the slope of your tangent line to the curve of intersection ng e yung surface na z equals f of x, y, tsaka y equals b. Um, recall yung graph nitong z equals f of x, y is a surface. Tapos itong y equals b, plane yan. So yung intersection nila is just a 2D curve, and yung tangent line doon sa curve na yun, at the point A, B, F of A, B, you know, is the geometric interpretation for F sub X of A, B. So F sub X of A, B, again, in-intersect natin yung surface mo. No? No, doon sa Y equals B, that's for F of F sub X of A, B. Yung F sub Y, ganun din, pero intersection naman ng surface mo with X equals A, no? at the point A, B, F of A, B. Okay, so, para hindi malito, kapag f sub x, ang finifix mong plane is si y equals b. Tapos kapag naman f sub y, ang finifix mo is si x equals a na plane. Okay? Doon mo ini-intersect yung e yung surface. So, halimbawa, given tayo ng problem na ito, hanapin doon natin yung slope ng tangent line. Doon sa curve of intersection ng no, surface na to and the plane y equals 1 at this point, this is our a, b, f of a, b. Now, and if you check naman, if you plug in x equals negative 2, y equals 1 here, you'll see that f of x, y will indeed be negative pi over 4. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so anong pinapahanap sa atin dito? Well, we want the tangent line to the curve of intersection itong surface. And the plane y equals 1. So I have fixed y equals 1. May 1 kasi yung b, no? So technically, I'm looking for the partial derivative with respect to x at negative 2, 1, negative 2, 1 being my a and b, respectively. So this is what I'm looking for, and to get that, kunin ko muna yung f sub x of x, y, then plug in ko na lang later si negative 2, 1. So if I get f sub x of x, y, differentiate ko to with respect to x. So tangent inverse yan ng something, so it's 1 over 1 plus squared ng something. Tapos so derivative na nasa loob, 2y over x, x po ang aking variable. Derivative ng 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared times 2y, I get negative 2y over x squared. Huwag ko na simplify no I don't care naman about this. I actually care only about the value at negative 2, 1. So plug in ko na si negative 2 sa x, tapos si 1 sa aking y. If I do that, this is the first term, um 1 over 1 plus, um, yung 2y over x, y is 1, x is negative 2, so that's 2 over negative 2, that's negative 1, squaring it gives me 1. So, yun yung ating first part. Tapos, etong negative 2y over x squared, uh, I get negative uh, 2 sa taas, 2 times 1. Yung x ko negative 2, so 4 sa ilalim. So, 2 over 4, tapos may negative dito, that's negative 2 fourths or negative 1 half. Eto 2, eto 2, I can cancel that, I will be left with negative 1 for it, which is the slope that I am looking for. Okay? Now, if I take the same surface, but this time I want the slope of the tangent line when I intersect this with the plane x equals 2. Now, I have fixed the plane x equals 2. So, malamang sa malamang, ito ay partial with respect to y. At the point 2, square root of 3, pi over 3, my a being 2, my b being square root of 3. So, again, now, partial with respect to y at the point 2 square root of 3. And to do that, kuhin ko lang ulit si f sub y muna. So, ito ulit yan, tangent inverse pa rin yan. No? So, 1 over 1 plus something squared. Tapos, this time, yung derivative ng 2y over x, since y na yung aking variable, no? 2 over x na lang siya. Okay? And if I do this, um, if I plug in, x equals 2y equals square root of 3. Ito sa 2y minus a over x squared. Yung y square root of 3, so I get 2 square root of 3 over 2. 
the square root of 3 na lang ito, pag in squared ko, I get 3. So, 1 over 1 plus 3. Yung 2 over x, it's just 2 over 2. No? That's just 1. I get 1 fourth no? for the slope of this i. Okay, so ganun lang po. Kasi simple, basta alam nyo lang, no? Kung ano yung partial derivative na pinapakomplete sa inyo, is it partial with respect to x, partial with respect to y, then just identify your a and b correctly, you can solve slope of tangent line problems very easily. And then itong last, um, I will not do this in full. Pakit ako na lang kung ano yung hahanapin nyo. Uh, the slope of the tangent ay lang hinahanap ko sa intersection ng surface na to and ng xz plane no, at the point pi 0, 0. So, yung a at b ko is pi and 0 respectively. Now, kaso ano nga hanapin ko? Well, recall that xz plane, no, ito yung medyo trick lang ng konti dito. xz plane is here, it has the equation y equals 0. No? So, I have fixed y equals something. So, this is f sub x no, at pi 0. Okay? So, I leave that to you. No, You just from from that point, just do uh, simple partial differentiation. Okay, and lastly, for our discussion, no, we're gonna be talking about higher order derivatives. So, so sa real valued function mo, you've discussed uh, second, third derivatives, and so on, no, denoted in such ways. No, partial derivatives can also be, or you also has higher order derivatives. However, since you have multiple options, so dahil marami kang uh, variables, so marami kang derivatives, pwede with respect to this variable or to this variable. Pag kinuha mo yung second derivative, marami ka rin ways to go, so marami siyang possible combinations, and here are some of them. Halimbawa, I have a function of x and y. No? I can have f sub x, y. Ibig sabihin, kunin ko yung partial with respect to x, tas partial with respect to y nun. Or I, I can have f sub, f sub y, x which is just partial with respect to y, tapos yung partial with respect to y, kukunin ko pa yung partial with respect to x. No? And then, ito naman, kukunin ko yung partial with respect to x two times, ito partial with respect to y two times. Tapos yung third, third order, ganun din, no? Uh, it's partial with respect to x, mas makukuha ko dun, partial with respect to x ulit, tapos partial with respect to y, tapos ito naman, x, y. And so on, no? Marami pa siyang possible combinations. Okay? So, take note lang natin yung notation na baliktad siya. No? F sub xy, no? sa notation ng in terms of the partial, I get partial of f over partial ni y times partial ni x. So, dito sa f sub xy, na uno si x, pero dito sa partial na notation, na uno si y. No? So, nagbabaliktad siya. No? Dito, x, y, x naging x, y. Dito sa denominator na to, etong x, x, y naging y, x, x. So, Ibig may ito ah, nagbabalitan yung notation kapag ito yung second type yung uh, ginagamit niyo. Okay? Game. So, it's, it makes sense no, to, to get the derivative with respect to x. Para ka nagbabranch out. No? Pagka partial with respect to x, do you go with respect to y or with respect to x again? And it makes sense to do that over and over again because as you get the partial derivative with respect to x and with respect to y, it always, the answer always is always uh, another function of x and y. So, so kahit ulitin mong kunin with respect to x and with respect to y, okay pa rin. As long as nag -e exist yung, yung derivative. Okay? So, halimbawa, partial with, uh, I have, or I want f sub y x, no, given the hyperbolic cotangent of 4x cube y as my function. So, f sub y x, or in this notation is partial of f over partial ni x times partial ni y. So, kunin ko muna yung partial with respect to y, itong uh, cos 4x cube y. Tapos yung makukuha kong sagot doon, kukunin ko yung partial with respect to x. Okay? So, partial with respect to y yung muna, ang derivative ng cos ay uh, negative cos h squared. Tapos, uh, times derivative mo na sa loob, derivative ng 4x cube y with respect to y is just 4x cube. So, kukunin, ito yung partial with respect to y, ito yung kuhanan ko ngayon ng partial with respect to x, but I have an x here and an x in my cosh, so this needs product rule. If I do product rule here, copy the first, 
derivative ng cos h squared, I get 2 times cos h. Tapos, yung cos h naman yung di-differentiate ko for by chain rule. Derivative ng cos h ay negative cos h cot. Okay? So, pag, pag nag-multiply ako ng negative cos h cot, ito ay magiging squared, magiging cot ito. Tapos, yung negative dito kanina nawala. No? Kasi yung negative cos h cot, yung negative sinama ko na dito, naging positive na siya. Tapos, lastly, times derivative na lang po ng 4x cube y with respect to x ito, so, yung 4y na constant, lalabas ko muna. Yung x cube mo is 3x squared. So, I get 12x squared y. 3x squared times my 4 Okay? Ito pa lang yung first term ng product rule. Plus, uh, plus tayo ng uh, derivative ng first, but negative yan. So, sinama ko na yung negative sa plus. So, I get negative 12x squared, derivative ng first. Copy lang natin yung second. I have this. No? And this is my answer. Simplify ko lang. No? Itong 4x cubed times 12x squared y, pag pinagsama ko, hmm? so, is this 96? This is 48. Sorry, this is not 96. Okay, kalang girl. Um, going, this is 48. Yeah. Okay. Good. So far, so good. Okay. Now you also discussed uh, one very important theorem, you know, which is your Clairaut's theorem. Sinasabi ng Clairaut's theorem, uh, ito yung kanya official uh, statement. Official statement. Yung kanya, uh, ito yung formal statement ng theorem. Tama ba yun? And what it actually means, it's, it's just, you no. Know, as long as my partial derivatives no, are continuous, no, then the ordering does not matter. No. In this case, specifically, sinabi niya na f of x, y is just f of y, x, but in other, even if I extend to third uh, order derivatives, and even if I extend to more variables, x, y, and z, and other, kung mas marami pang variables, no, pag kahit bali-balik ta rin ko yan, as long as it's the same, variables, no? then yung partial derivatives mo will be the same. Okay? So, illustrate natin yun with our last example for this discussion. So, I am given this function of x, y, and z. I want uh, the values of g, y, and z, g, uh, g of y, z, g sub y, z, g sub z, y, g sub x, y, z, g sub y, z, x, and g sub z, x, y. Okay, so itong g sub y, so, imbes na hanapin mo yan lahat, that is five partial derivatives na higher order pa, so napakahirap, no? For g of y, z, and g of z, y, since yan ay nagbaliktad lang, no? By Clairaut's theorem, no? As long as my partial derivatives are continuous, they will be the same. Now, this is a good function to use Clairaut's theorem on kasi it only involves an e and a sign. Pag dinipreciate ko naman yung e tsaka sign ang kahit ilang basis ko yan i-differentiate, ang lalabas lang ay e tsaka either sine or cosine, all of which no, are continuous naman everywhere. So, uh, I am sure that my partial derivatives for this example is continuous. Therefore, I can use Clairaut's theorem. Okay? So, again, E and sine are continuous everywhere. Derivatives nila, continuous in everywhere. Since E, sine, and cosine lang naman yung mga mag appear when you differentiate them. Okay? So, gamitin ko si Clairaut's, no? For the first two, G of Y, Z, G sub Y, Z, and G sub Z, Y, Si G sub Y, sila lang yung kunin ko. No? G sub Z, Y will just be the same thing. Okay? To get G sub Y, Z, kunin ko muna si G sub Y. If I do that um, derivative with respect to Y, E to the Y lang yung may Y. Sine Z, X is, is, is just a constant. So, sine Z, X times derivative ng E to the Y. E to the Y, derivative niya. E to the Y pa din. So this is my g sub y. 
Tapos, yung G sub Y is ko is derivative nito with respect to Z. In this case, yung E to the Y ay constant lang na coefficient. So, E to the Y. Tapos, times cosine ZX, no? Tapos, derivative pa nung ZX. No? Since I am differentiating with respect to Z, X lang po yan. Okay? Ito yung aking G sub Y, Z. G sub Z, Y, no need to compute. I still get the same thing. Okay, if you, if you don't believe me, well, you can compute it on your own, of course. You should get the same thing. Okay? Good. Ito namang sa tatlo na to, dami niyan, tatlong order. No? G sub X, Y, Z, G sub Y, Z, X, tsaka G sub Z, X, Y. But they are just the same thing, no? Shuffled lang naman yung X, Y, Z dyan sa tatlong yan. No? And so I just need to get one of those. Piliin ko na lang si G sub Y, Z, X kasi si G sub Y, Z nakuha ko na here. So parang kunin ko na lang si yung partial nito with respect to X. Tapos okay na ako. No? Okay, so etong G sub Y, Z, we've computed na. So kunin ko na lang yung partial with respect to X. If I do that, um, I need to use product tool. So... Copy the first times derivative ng second, derivative ng cosine is negative sine. Tapos derivative ng zx with respect to x ay z. Plus derivative ng first, no, e to the y ay constant lang. Yung x ang derivative niya ay 1, so e to the y lang. Times copy the second. Okay? Pag sinimplify ko lang yung negative, nilipat ko lang dito. Yung z, sinama ko lang dito sa tabi ng x. Since may g sub, y, z, x, but also my g sub x, y, z, and my g sub z, x, y. And I am done. Okay? So that's it for our discussion on partial derivatives. If you have any question, feel free to consult your discussion features. Okay? Thank you.